Oh my! Oh, they broke it up. No, here comes the boat. And just like that, three men lie dead in the streets of Six Gun Territory. You know, that we're going to have some company pretty soon because uh, we have one man that is bound to show up whenever the shooting is over, and that is Digger the Undertaker. And we're, there he is, coming out of the general store. You see, he gets paid $15 a piece for these fellas he plants in Boot Hill. All he has to do is fold them up nice and neat, put them in a pine box, haul them off, and drop them in a hole. He gets $15. Going right to work, and you see, he doesn't waste any time. You see, he carries his tools there, and he's checking the first man. And... Oh, look out there, bigger. Something wrong with that fellow. Wait a minute. Oh! You know, I guess he must have been eating out of the Mexican restaurant some of them jumping beans, huh? <laughs> well, Digger always gets them, that's for sure. If they don't belong to him before he gets to them, he makes sure that they do. Go ahead and pull There's $15 for you. All right, go ahead and work on 30 now. Go check them now. Tell us, Digger. You gotta check him out first, make sure he belongs to you. Oh, that's a fancy hat there. You do get a few perks. Check him out, Digger. Let's see if that is that man yours. <laughs> oh, look out! There's Sam Jess and Jim Bell coming up behind the marshal trying to bamboo him. And uh, fast 45s of the shotgun have taken them down to all three of them. Digger? Digger? Where'd Digger go? I swear that man is the bravest man I have ever seen. Get back out here. you got work to do. You're protecting him. You're probably... Come on, you get to work. Marshall done made you another $30 out there, so you may as well go ahead and check it out. You know, you're not going to be able to fit him in a pine box like that. What, what, how are you going to fit him in? <laughs> Why don't you bury him in a rocking chair? There are more ways of making money than a hound dog has got fleas. Now, Digger, you know, you're wasting time. You need to fold that man up or you're not going to be able to get paid. Well, go ahead. How, well, you got to do something with him. <laughs> well, he certainly does know how to do it. Well, folks, we're awful sorry for all the noise and confusion around here today. We usually have a parson come out and say a few nice words over these boys. Nothing good to say for them, so, well, let's just have a show a little respect, take our hats off, and give these boys a moment of silence. <laughs> 